So this is day one with the FJ55. I'm gonna go and just kind of dissect her and see what we actually picked up the other day. I don't know anything about these trucks. All I know is that I've always liked them. They're the weirdest looking thing, but they're almost so weird, it makes it even cooler. So let's take a tour of it um, and see what we actually bought. We're gonna hook up a battery, which I just threw in and see what kind of stuff works. From what I understand, all the power stuff works. Even the rear window goes down. So we're gonna check all that stuff and we're gonna go through it together. So. Cheers, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, and share these videos. As it keeps me motivated, keep on picking up junk like this. <clears throat>
Oh my gosh, that's phenomenal. Hey, don't worry, it's uh, this is a quick easy mount where you can just take the mount off, it falls off. So you can see right into the motor in the giant hole there. Yeah, I, maybe we can get this 2F running. So I was about to unhook um, the vacuum lines and I just noticed something cool. Here on the vacuum box, it actually gives you numbers according to what is on the side here and where it's going. So this is six, which tells me that that goes to the distributor retard. If you go follow that line all the way over, runs over all the way to the cap. That is awesome. It's pretty much ready to pull, be pulled out. Just need to take out the four um, bell housing bolts in the back. Um, even the slave cylinder is all disconnected. And um, the idea is that we'll pull it away from the transmission with the bell housing. So we can just take all that stuff back off and then slip it right back in. The motor's all prepped to be plucked right out of the 55. Went ahead and did a manifold bolts this morning. Um, all the uh, motor mounts are all disconnected and on the 55 the bell housing uh, bolts in the back there need to come off um, on 60s they do not have those prongs that connect to other mounts um, I, I believe that's because there is a transmission mount on the 60s um, went ahead and did the four um, bell housing bolts and so that's uh, it will just disconnect right off the transmission um, as well as the starter there so she's all ready to come out and we're gonna do that process here shortly. So, guys, I've been lying to you this whole entire video. I was gonna do the 3FE swap for the FJ55, but unfortunately, I kind of found out that it has a dead cylinder. So, probably not gonna go that way. So, guess what? Got on Facebook Marketplace and I found a 1977 2F motor out, pulled out of an FJ40 with 82,000 miles. Yes, you heard that correctly 82,000 miles. So, I'm actually gonna go on this beautifully rainy day to go pick her up. So, you wanna come along with me and get that thing? Gotta put some oil in the FJ62 before we go, though. Ooh, wee. Gary getting it in. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. You dedicated cruiser head, man. It in fact does fit in a 62. <laughs> a 2F does sit in the back of a 62. Holy smokes. With an air cleaner. <laughs> well, the 2F is in the FJ62. That was a hell of a battle. I don't know how she got in the back of this, but in fact, a 2F will fit in the back of a Land Cruiser. Uh, we just took off the air cleaner, so. Back to Virginia to put her in the FJ55. Woohoo!